Hi guys, recently I published a video. It was a photo walk here in the big city of Toronto and I used my little ZV E10 and a Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4. I really enjoyed that video. It was well received. I took breathtaking pictures, but I did ask the audience, what is your favorite street photography lens? And a bunch of people said the Sigma 18 to 50 F 2.8, especially paired with an A6700. A lot of people said to them, that is the perfect street photography combination. And gosh darn it all, the HE double hockey sticks. You might be right. So I'm going to take you out on a photo walk using these two right now. And when I come back, I will tell you how I shot it and my settings and whatnot. But uh, let's just go out. Enjoy the fresh air, shall we? Well, welcome to the big city. Oh, hold on a sec. Beautiful. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Where are you from? I'm from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where are you from? I'm from India. From India? Are you visiting? No, I'm studying here. I'm oh. Student. My name is Bobby. What's your name? Park. Park. Nice to Mark. meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Let me get, let me get another one of you. Here. Beautiful. Looks oh so my good, God. Eh? How can I get this photo? Good. So he's my bodyguard. Oh, hi. Nice, nice to meet nice. you. Hi, hey, paparazzi. You mind if I take a photo? It's so, okay. It's great. <laughs> awesome. Buys a lot of comments. I'll let them know about it. Here. Oh, I like this. Ed Mervish Theater. Right here. <laughs> Famous theater in Toronto. Now you see the sky is blown out a little bit with those uh, zebras. So I will put this down. There's also a giant hair here that I have taken off with my hand. I don't know who owns that, but I don't think it was me. So then I will tap to focus here on the sign. F9 should be a lot in focus anyway. Now this Roots store right here is, uh, I'm not gonna take a picture of the store, but I like all that wood going up vertical like that. You can get, an interesting perspective shot or something like that. So let's take a look at that. See what we got when we walk up to it. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's see. I'll just go up here, focus, and there we go. Nice little weirdly perspective shot. I guess it's not weird, but you know. I just like, I don't know, I like geometry, I like vertical lines, you know? Do you mind if I get a photo of you when you're smoking? Oh, that was cool. One more time. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks. Are you a photographer? Yeah, yeah. Just for fun or for... Yeah, well, I do, uh, I do online stuff, like uh, I do lens reviews, camera reviews, and stuff like oh, that. So, cool. yeah, it's like a YouTube uh, tech review channel. Oh, very cool. So I test out the lenses, try to get some photos, and I show people how to use them. Awesome. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Make sure we got exposure compensation down there. A couple of interesting buildings here in the middle of this city, left over. I'll turn my exposure compensation back up. You know what? I still want a bit of that sky because I can bring those shadows back. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. So people see me walking around. They also see me talking to seemingly myself. But I'm miked, guys. You're all, you're all being filmed. 
It's a nice shot of what I'm seeing here. Just construction and noise. The beauty, the beauty of a bustling city. Sometimes when I think about, you know, the city is too busy, I always think about those shows, you know, like The Walking Dead, where everybody's a zombie and it's all quiet and you just pine for the days when it was too noisy in your city, full of life, you know? And I also think this is like opportunity for a lot of people. They uh, can come to a big city here in North America, this is Canada specifically, Toronto, and you, you can do whatever you want. You can make a life for yourself. I just did a circle. So uh, let's see if I can get some different pictures. Oh, I always like a gritty button. Look at this. So let's go down to 2.8. I'll zoom all the way into 50. Oh, there you go, gritty old button. I guess that button there was much nicer, but uh, you know, let's go for the one that's all beat up. Has, uh, has more character, that's what they say. You say it's open, but it doesn't look open. So do I go in the front or do I go behind? I'm going behind. Try not to be a run over. I'm going behind. There we go. Sorry about the noise again, everybody. But maybe you don't hear it. Maybe I've isolated myself in post. I certainly doubt it because this is so loud. Yeah, maybe the one with the color might be a little nicer. There you go, boy! And it doesn't look like much when you're walking past it, but you know, sometimes it's the little things that make really cool photos. Not that that one was a really cool photo, but you know. Hot dog, is that okay? Take a picture. I didn't get the hot dog. Thank you. Home of the Toronto Maple Leaf fans. You'll notice that it's empty. Am I right, guys? Oh, the Maple Leafs fans are going to be mad now. You know what? I'm going, out. I'm going all the way down. I like to get that depth of field on those signs, you know? Put it off to the corner a little bit there. So you can see that blurriness in that background. There we go. Oh, my legs. I'm so old. So old. The whole arch in there. Do I have any more room? Of course I do. Got lots of room on this 18 to 50. Now, what about up here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, let's, uh... Oh, did I go the wrong way? No, I went the right way. Everything's fine. Whoa, that's a lot of brightness. I don't know if I'll be able to recover this many shadows. So I'll take one this way. And then I'll uh, bring my exposure compensation up a little bit so that way. We'll see what happens with that one. But that was, you know, being minus three. That's a lot of shadows to bring back right there. Because that's really backlit. We'll see how it goes. Ah, oh, yeah. Some cool buildings here. Flags. Let's see. Zoom all the way into my 50. Now, let's go up until we see those zebras. There they are. So, click on that. Focus. You know what? I'm going to go over past this pole. Hopefully, I'll still be able to see that building from here. Oh, I'm just going to go through. Right. It's the sun. Any sun stars available? Let's go all the way to uh, F22. That exposure comp down. Not really. Can't really. Sun starts just a splotch behind the cloud. Well, I tried. Right. Put that down.
Oh, there's that building I was looking for. Let's go all the way down here. Click on that. Go up till I see my zebras. There we go. Oh, and this is a much better view of this thing. See, so you gotta walk around, man. You gotta walk around to get the proper view. No, I need to get further back than that. There you go. Now I got it all. all right? Oh, this is a much better bike rack. Nobody's using this at all. Okay, let's see if I can do this one. I'll put it all the way down to 2.8. Zoom in to 50. Yeah, I like that. Try the seats again. Now let's take uh, the millionth picture of this clock tower, shall we? Just because you never know what's gonna be the best angle. It's got a nice shadow on it right here. It is kind of cool. See, maybe I'm glad I stopped. Maybe. Guess I'll see when I get back home. Yeah, it's close. He doesn't care for crosswalks. That guy doesn't care for crosswalks. This is the old city hall. See, that's just a big old building here with the clock tower I've taken a million times. We have a new city hall, but we leave this one up because we like redundancy here in Toronto. Now, let's see what I got here. That's nice. I like that. It's too bad that I think 98% of my pictures are of this building. It's just I like it and I'm trying to find the right, you know, look to it. So because it's relatively quiet here, I will talk a little bit about what I've been feeling as I go around. There's so many things to take photos of in a big city like this. However, you are going to run into obstacles such as people, you know, thinking that you're trying to take a photo of them when you're not, or people trying to get you to give them money, and most importantly, the noise. You're trying to tape one of these film, what do they call it, shoot? one of these photo walks, you know, you want people to be able to hear what's going on and it is insanely noisy. I mean, I'm at Dundas Square, Toronto. It's one of the noisiest places in the world. So you gotta, you know, sacrifice something. If I want to get interesting pictures of a very busy city, then I have to put up with the noise. If you're not filming this for other people to watch it, I mean, if you could just enjoy yourself, maybe wear some earplugs. Get one of that in focus and one of the building in focus, and then one of pretty much both of them in focus. And we'll see what one I like the best, hey? Eh? And then what if we just go get this and nothing else? Can we do that? How would that look? A little bit of buka there, I'll do 50. Oh, now I'm too close to it. Uh, there we go. Get yeah, right down. Don't be afraid to bend, ladies and gentlemen. Now, yeah, I gotta get rid of that building out of the side there. Try to get him in between. There we go. Now, taking pictures of people, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, it looks great when you do get some photos of people, but uh, then, you know, you have to ask them. You don't have to ask them. I can take pictures of them because they're out in public, but I like to be polite. Here in Canada, I'm allowed to take photos of people on the street, but I like to ask people so that they're okay with it. Plus, then they'll look at the camera sometimes. But, uh, you know, then I gotta talk to people. Who wants to do that? So I do like taking pictures of inanimate objects more, but once in a while, I'll venture in, ask somebody to take a photo.
No parking. That should be on the license plate for Toronto. Hey, welcome to Toronto. No parking. You should see where I had to drive to to try to park around here. And I live here. I know where to go. Can't imagine being somebody who is uh, not from here who rented a car <laughs> like a fool. Like a fool renting a car. Where are you going to park, man? Just ride the subway. Streetcar. Better for the environment anyway. Right? That's just what they tell me. Okay, so there was nothing up this way. That's it, man. Sometimes you swing and you miss. Although I took a picture of that no parking thing. I like that. You know what? Let's just, just for the sake of calling myself a liar, let's take a photo of these things with the lights. I don't know what will happen with that. That's probably nothing. But, uh, hey. You know, it's digital, right? It's not film. I don't have to worry about wasting a photo. Oh, it's so quiet here. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it to come this way. It's so quiet. Very, very nice. I got a picture of the Eaton Center. Oops. Should have turned off that EVF. I mean, I, I would use it probably if I wasn't filming this thing for you guys. I would definitely use it. Here's a church. I mean, I'm not very churchy, but uh, the buildings, they often look very nice. You know, so it's nice when you have a city that's a bit older and they have all these old churches in there. Even though I don't go inside them, it's still nice to get pictures of the outsides of them. So, uh, look at this. I don't know what this is. Just a stain? Or is it graffiti? What is this? I like it. I like it. It's interesting. It's abstract. So I'm going to take a photo of it. What do you think of that, guys? And in fact, I'm going to get this whole thing. I like this whole look going on here with those dead leaves and this weird looking abstracty thing. I like it. I like the whole works of it. Now, I don't usually do that. I don't usually sneak a photo of someone, but I just really liked the way it looked and I did not want her to see me because I wanted to capture what I was seeing. Her just smoking, looking off wistfully, you know, like she was thinking about something extraordinary, like how much she likes Mark Bennett's Camera Crisis channel. Look at this. The sign is right. It's definitely some litter. Let's see if I can get some streetcar action. Oh yeah. This is nice. And that up again. This is a cool little spot here where all the traffic stops and everyone's allowed to walk in every different direction. So it makes the streets look like super lively. So now I am back to where I started. I think I found my way back to the building I parked in. So I'm gonna spend the next three hours looking for my car in the parking lot. And uh, let's go back in now, warm up the hands a little bit. Hey, this was fun, went out, Got some exercise and, uh, you know, met, met some of the locals. And, uh, hey, healthy, right? Fulfilling. Okay, someone else is coming now. I got to go because he's yelling a bunch of stuff. Now, just look at this combination right here. It is like it is made for this camera. So small and light, well-balanced, giving you the equivalent of a 27 to 75 in terms of reach full frame equivalent, but it just looks this big right here. Super sharp lens, just tack sharp and the autofocus instant. Absolutely a joy to use this combo in street photography. So first of all, the point of view footage was just my DJI Action 4, had on a little chest mount, walking around like a husky dog with a harness. And I used the new DJI Mic 2 because it has a Bluetooth function, can connect 
to the Action 4, so that made it very easy on myself. And speaking of being easy on myself, I knew there was going to be a lot of activity, a lot of people around me, so I wanted to be able to take my pictures as effortly as possible. Just think about my composition. So I actually just left this in Aperture Priority Mode and uh, Auto ISO as well. Now, because it was the middle of the day, then uh, my shutter speed, it didn't dip too low, but I did use in uh, Auto ISO, I did set my minimum shutter speed to 1 over 250 because I wanted to make sure if I was zoomed out to 50 millimeters and there was some action going around, I could freeze that action if I wanted. There was times when I would switch to shutter priority mode when I really wanted to freeze action, but for the most part, I was shooting in aperture priority mode to, uh, you know, get my own depth of field, what I thought was appropriate for the situation, and I let the camera handle the rest. And that way, you can really focus on your composition, focus on what you want to take a picture of, or focus on the fact that you might get stabbed in the ribs by somebody who's not having a great day. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, let me know down below if the 18-50 to is your favorite lens to use for street photography, or, you know, you can name a different brand. Maybe Fuji. A lot of people like Fuji for the street photography. Name your camera and your lens down below, and then maybe I'll go get that. You give me an excuse to buy another camera. I'll go get that. I'll go out into the streets and bother some more people. Anyway, thanks for watching this. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.